Janice Tuck here and today I wanted to revisit one of our oldest and most popular activities, the rhythm clock. And I wanted to share with you a new idea on how to use it, which is loads of fun. Here is my original video where I explain how to do this activity. Now if you're not familiar with it, then I'll provide a link to it under this video. This extension idea was actually sent in from a teacher on our mailing list and she does it with lots of students of all ages. Now we love hearing new ideas of how to use our resources, especially when it makes the activity more fun for the students. Anyway, you just need one simple prop for this extended idea, two dice. Yes, that's right. You just need two dice and a cup to roll them in. If you put them into a clear plastic container, that's even better. So they can be rolled over and over again without getting lost or anything like that. Now, as you remember from my first video, this can either be a traditional pen or a paper whiteboard or an interactive whiteboard activity. Today I'm using the interactive version, but it really doesn't matter which one you choose. All you have to do is have a child come up to the board, roll the dice, and then they have to play the rhythm at that number. So if I roll a seven, I'll have to play, and so on. You can do it in whatever way you want. So you could have them compose a song that way. You could drag the cells so you can play down at the bottom, get instruments out and play along with the music. The ideas are endless and it's up to you. I hope you've enjoyed this little idea and please feel free to always send in any extra ideas that you have when using our resources. It all helps us to help others with making music lessons more worthwhile, fun and fulfilling for all of our students.